summer spent playing baseball, building forts, or maybe just rolling around in the mud, your kids may need a little help transitioning back into the school mindset. Jane Bell from Bees for Books is back with a few different books that are going to help ease your kid back into the whole learning mindset. Now, Jane, I want to start off because you brought a few that are talking about that, your first day of school and how hard and difficult that can yeah. be. Yeah, no, there are, there are lots of great books about uh, helping your kid transition into kindergarten. Um, this is one of my new favorites, Planet Kindergarten. Uh, it, tr it treats kindergarten as if you're going on like a mission to Mars. So um, it's, it's especially fun, makes it very exciting, uh, all the missions you go on. Um, and then also Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat is a really cool dude cat. Um, and he's rocking in his school shoes and it just talks you through getting on the school bus and getting, uh, getting to school. And there's some rhyming and repetition in there which is fun and, and, and encouraging for smaller children. Now do these books, do you think, help sort of make that transition a little bit easier, not so threatening? Exactly, exactly. They see, they, they learn about what it's going to be, be like before they actually go and also they see, you know, fun characters doing that too. So it just makes it a bit more fun and less threatening. And because early middle school is not too early to start thinking about what you want to do with your life, you have a book that sort of talks about that. <laughs> this is Rosie Revere Engineer, which is just a fun book. Uh, it talks you through. Uh, Rosie really wants to be an engineer, um, and it's in rhyme. It's very fun, uh, and it's also about not mess, uh, not worrying about messing up because she's scared of being an engineer and building things, um, but she's she's scared that she's going to mess up, and then she learns it's okay. You can make lots of mistakes, and then you can figure it out in the end. So. And it's got a good fun message. One of the things I messed up a lot about in middle school <laughs> is numbers and math, so this one might have helped me a this little bit. This is called None the Number. This is a, a fun book about uh, zero, the number, and it tell, teaches you about counting. So this is good for kids starting uh, kindergarten and first grade as well. Um, just uh, it's a sort of a fun counting book. And of course, <laughs> if we're talking about middle school, you uh, brought one in that said, I even funnier a middle school story. Yeah, this is a, a book about a boy who's in a wheelchair. Um, and he wants to be a comedian. So it's very funny. He has like a very poignant, uh, difficult background. So there's this poignant story running all the way through, but it's also really laugh out loud funny as well. So that's good for starting middle school or if you've got a kid who's going back into middle school. And for the person that really loves history and maybe wants to learn a little bit more about history this summer, you have two books right down there. That's right. This is nonfiction, which is, uh, there's a whole series of these called I Survived books. And this is I Survived the Shark Attacks of 1916. And it just puts you in the in the position that you were there. Um, and so boys particularly like that kind of nonfiction. It teaches you a little bit about that that history. And there's all sorts of different titles in the series. And this one's uh, by Jack Gantos, who's a wonderful author um, from Norvelt to Nowhere. And it's a, a fiction story, but it he travels. He goes on a road trip with his elderly neighbor. Um, and they learn some history and geography on the way. So it's kind of sneaking in some history and geography when they don't even notice it. And this is <laughs> definitely a great way to sneak in some learning for your kids that are heading back to school. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much for joining us today, Jane. Thank you. And of course, there's always so many great options there, and I'm sure there's a staff member that will help you point in the right direction for your kids. Absolutely. There's plenty of books to, to get them back into that school mode. All right, but right now we're going to send it back over to you.